Jumbo. As many people know, during his 27 years on Robin Island, Nelson Mandela found solace and inspiration in the poem Invictus by William Ernest Henley. A poem about the ability to remain hopeful and strong in the face of adversity. This week at Mate Night, we reviewed Clint Eastwood's film about Nelson Mandela's life during the early days of his presidency, which is appropriately titled Invictus, after the poem I just mentioned. Oh! Nice. <laughs> In the film, Mandela works with the captain of the South African rugby team, Francois Pinar, played by Matt Damon, oh, oh with the goal of using the Rugby World Cup as a way to help unite a divided nation. Okay. There's your context. What many people don't know, Jumbo, is that there was another piece of literature that inspired Nelson Mandela during his stint on Robin Island. I'm not sure I believe you. And Clint Eastwood very nearly used this as the key inspiration for his film before ultimately going with Invictus. Had you heard about this? I feel like you're having me on and you're about to read Harry Potter. Very, very little, very, very, not very well known this. <laughs> okay, but, you know, Clint Clint Eastwood. research. Yeah, and you heard so, it first. in fact, At Matt Knight. Eastwood went as far as to shoot different versions of the scenes we saw in no Invictus way. using this alternative source of inspiration as the backdrop. Are we going to get a poem read from Fred? Now, Jambo, I've done some digging. Oh, my goodness. And reached out to the Eastwood estate. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what, Jambo? I've managed to procure a Mate Night exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I have... The audio cut of one of these alternative scenes that has never been seen before. Never you before did seen. Not. Did you drop you the main night name? Is that? I've been giggling all day about this. I've been on the, I've been on the old emails to, <laughs> to Clint saying, Clint, Clint, Clint we know about this secret recording Clint's that you've estate. got. Clint's estate. Give me some... <laughs> talk to me. Talk, talk to, to me, me, Clint. Give me some... Yeah. Clint's PA got yeah. back. So basically yeah. what, what I'm going to be able to do for you and the listeners today is show this scene. I can't bloody well wait. Just to give a little bit of context before we play it, this is the original cut of the first meeting between Francois Pinar and Nelson Mandela. In this version, instead of using Invictus, Mandela presents Francois with a different story to inspire the Springboks <laughs> to a World Cup victory. So, so without further ado, I haven't, I haven't listened to this before. No, I don't we, believe you. Maybe we should go off camera. And I, I think, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play it into the mic. But we'll... Because I've just been sent this from the Eastwood Estate. And okay. They, they sent it over and they said, you know what, we're, we're big fans of Mate Night. Yes. And we're better. We're, we've held this on for years and yeah. no one's before got a chance to see it. We, we'd be yeah. happy for you to present it. So so what we'll do is we'll kind of make sure we're off camera. We don't want to be breathing all over the things. So this is audio audio only. So just as I mentioned, so in, in the original, Francois Pinar gets invited to Nelson Mandela's office. Yes. Very surprising. They couldn't, talk about a few things. Couldn't quite believe it. At, at the, the end of it, he, he goes back and comes to the realisation that Nelson Mandela wants him to win the World Cup. Who'd so, have thought? So this... Is the the original cut? Of Let's that. hear it, baby. You're you ready? President Thomas Sai, this is a great honor. Thank you for having me here today. Do not be silly, Mr. Pena. Of course, it is an honor of mine to have you in my president's office. Do you know the purpose of why I brought you here today? No, sir. I was quite surprised to see the call. What would you like to speak to me about? I want to talk to you about my time on Robin Island and how I managed to get through that dark time in my life. And a particular story that really gave me hope when there wasn't very much around. Well, I could definitely do with some hope now, sir. <laughs> Mr. Pinner, are you familiar with the uh, Mr. Men? The Mr. Men? Exactly, the Mr. Men. Mr. Happy, Mr. Sad, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Tickle. Oh, the, the, the Mr. Min. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with their story, sir. I'm a children's stories. They are great books. Right. Um, yeah. They can teach you a lot about life and about your character. I, is that so, sir? I would very much like to read your one. Right. Okay. What I'm about to read you, more than anything else, is what got me through my imprisonment. Really? 
Thus as the story of Mr. Strong. Sir, I'm not sure. Mr. Strong is the strongest person in the whole wide world. The strongest person there ever has been. And probably the strongest person there ever will be. Mr. Strong is so strong. He can throw a cannonball as far as you or I can throw a tennis ball. Sir, I must... Francois, can you imagine a man who can throw a cannonball as far as you or I could throw a tennis ball? It's a miracle. And would you like to know the secret of Mr. Strong's strength? Um... It's... Eggs. Eggs? That's right. Eggs. The more eggs Mr. Strong eats, the stronger he gets. Stronger and stronger and stronger. I understand exactly why you told me this. You do. Sir, I can tell you for a fact that we are on the same page. That is very good to know indeed. I thought it might take more convincing to get you to win the World Cup and bring racial harmony to South Africa. Pardon? Thanks for listening, everyone. So that was an interesting, <laughs> very interesting to hear Clint Eastwood's Clint Eastwood's direction to go down the Invictus route was understandable. Um, obviously, in an alternate timeline, we'd have got the Mister Strong story, which yeah. uh, it's really nice that that's been been uh, open to the public. Yeah, I think I think that the Invictus message was perhaps a little more profound, but maybe less material. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd, I, I think metaphorically, the Mister Strong. I mean, clearly, Mr. Strong is future South Africa. Yes. And the eggs of the Rugby World Cup. And it would certainly be helpful if your rugby team could throw as far as Mr. Strong. Yeah, for sure. That seems to be a useful... So, look, they, they went one way, but they could have gone another. And it's really nice that now we're able to, to see what that would have looked like. Yeah, so thanks for that, Clint. Um, Cheers, Clint. You are a hero, and uh, thanks for tuning in, as Thanks, usual. Nelson. Thanks, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Morgan. That was uh, really cool.